and welcome back to my channel today we'll have a very fun video i'm really excited because i won't be alone and i'm not talking about rocky rocky is actually on vacation right now he's napping okay <laughs> today we'll have another person and i am talking about another youtuber we're having a collab over here but you already read the title today i am collabing with jacqueline's jungle channel and i'm so excited to work with her and I actually came up with the whole quest to us, so this video should be so much fun. But before going into this quest, I want to let you know that I will leave her channel's link in my description box down below. And also there will be another collab video on her channel as well. So make sure to go ahead and show her some love from my channel and let her know that Svetlana sent you there. And let's just spread the love, right? But before doing that, let's spread the love on this channel under this video in the comments. And before doing that let me show you what i'm talking about so today we actually will have a fun trivia or quest right and since both of us me and jacqueline love to go into big box stores i thought why not to take it to another level and make a little quest for us and not just hang out in there but have 10 specific tasks to do and film them obviously for you guys and then we went and then we <laughs> i forget <laughs> And then we can compare us both of them, one in Lithuania, in Eastern Europe, another one in United States. So this should be so much fun to see the contrast between our choices. And for example, one of the quests will be to find the most expensive plant in the whole big box store or to find the spikiest cactus in the whole big box store. But I won't spoil any more quests for you. So prepare i think it should be so much fun i am pretty sure i will be freaking out i already am i think the clean will be a little bit worried as well because this is not an easy task i came up with 10 very different questions slash tasks so this should be such a fun video you are welcome and let's let's just get going let's just get going or i'll mumble for hours let's go Go to the big box store! My name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle, but over on my channel, that's what we call it. So if we've never met before, hi! Today we're on Svetlana's channel. Svetlana, room. Aww. So I am at a local Lowe's that usually has a lot of selection and I am excited to go inside and do scavenger hunt I guess we can call it. We've got 10 things that we're looking for and hopefully we find some good stuff so let's go see what they have. Okay so we are here at the Lowe's and the first thing on the list is the most expensive plant that I can find so let's go see what they have. So I feel like the most expensive plant is probably gonna be one of the bigger ones because I mean it's a big box store so 
none of these little plants are gonna be very pricey. So the most expensive one, oh my God, this is only $14.98. That's not even expensive. $19.98 for these fiddles. Hmm. Let's see how much this bird of paradise is. $29.98, that might be the most expensive. Maybe one of these urban jungles. I think these are like $25. $24.98. Let's see. This one is $16.98. Gosh, everything is just so well priced. $27 back there. I think that might be it. Hoya is $19.98. Yeah, probably a floor plant. see $14.98 $24.98 maybe some of these orchids let's see $24 this one's $30 I think $30 is expensive as we're gonna find today these Diefenbachias are $19.98 so, I think these orchids are $30, and that bird of paradise over here is $30. See, these alocasias doesn't have a price on the pot, of course. $14.98. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Okay, guys, I found the most expensive plant I have ever seen in my life. And it's pretty tall, so let me show you. This plant is actually already discounted. It was 3,000 euros. Right now it's 1,500 euros, which is only saying is crazy. This is... Vecchia Merilitia or whatever and look at this thing yep it has only one leaf but it's a flipping tree okay look at the stem oh my gosh I love those roots you can see a little bit this is the size of the pot by the way one and a half thousand euros drop the mic also honorable mention this cute ficus with really interesting action going on in here for 626 euros expensive man that's expensive okay next on the list is the least expensive plant so I feel like one of the small ones I know that we have Lots of exotic angels plants from Costa Farms that are $4.98, like this Fetonia. So if I can find something for less than $4.98, that would probably be the cheapest, but I don't think, unless there's some succulents, maybe? I didn't see any when we came in. I'll turn around and show you the options you have for $4.98 here. Lots and lots of stuff for $4.98. Found a clearance <laughs> plant for $2. That's, uh, I think this is a purple waffle. Yeah. Not looking super happy, but it's on clearance for $2. So I guess that would be the cheapest plant. Okay guys, I found the cheapest plant ever and I am talking about a fern. Oh wait. And I'm talking about a fern for 36 cents. I mean this fern definitely still have a potential. It's still so savable. And it's only 36 cents. Oh my gosh. I think I definitely should win with this one. Oh my gosh. 
36 cents. Heck yeah. But let's see what you clean found. Next on the list is what plant I would buy for myself. And I mean, that's a tough one, honestly. I am a big Hoya head, so if you guys like Hoyas, definitely go check out my channel. We talk about them a lot, and this is the Hoya species, Affinity Bertoniae. They have it listed as Billabata DS70, but I have a video about that on my channel if you guys are interested in what the difference is between some of those Hoyas that are usually incorrectly labeled, but I have one of these, and it's huge, and blooming while well, it's my boyfriend's but it's mine too so it blooms and it's beautiful like it's sun stressed and pink and really cute and I love the way this plant trails it's a little bit fuzzy too which is cute not super fuzzy but it's definitely got a felted feel to it and if I didn't have one already this is the plant that I would be most excited about finding here so oh yes species affinity bertoniae for $19.98 and here in the states these have been popping up in big box stores all over the place so if you're in the states and you're looking for one definitely go check your local big box stores what I would buy for myself I will, let me show you believe it or not but I would buy this Calatia I actually am growing one Calatia at home right now and it's pretty successful so I would like to give it a shot and try once again and this medallion medallion Calatia looks so beautiful I love how pink they can be so I think that would be the one next on the list is the plant that I would not buy for myself so if you guys watch my channel you'll know that I always say that these creep me out so this isn't a surprise for anybody who watches my videos that I would pick this Bromeliad, regular, degular, bromeliad. I don't know the um, the genus name on this one because bromeliad is a family of plants, but these ones in particular really creep me out, especially when they, they haven't opened up yet. The blooms don't creep me out as much, but when they haven't opened, they freak me out. So I definitely would not be purchasing one of these. <laughs> anytime soon for myself probably ever I'm talking about the plants that I would never ever buy for myself behold Rex begonia I actually already have been buying them for at least three times and all of them ended up dead so I really do not want just buy plants for killing them and you know it's a waste of money a waste of a beautiful plant and I mean this is such a beautiful plant but it would be dead in my home in less than a month so definitely not buying that one definitely like definitely number five on the list of things we're looking for is the prettiest pot so I already know the answer to this question because I go big box shopping a lot so I already have a lot of these pots and one of my favorites right now is this urban jungle pot for $24.98 that looks kind of like terracotta I mean it is terracotta but it has no drainage and then they have like this gray color as well that I really like so I have a large one and a small one of this because I think it's really cute and I like the urban jungle pots tend to be my favorite live trends has some cute ones too like these from urban jungle I like just another one back there they came out with these recently this one is live trends but it's cute too this one I like as well for $14.98 I always thought these were cute too because they kind of just look like a little bag hanging but Another plant I would not buy for myself, right there, ivy. So, my least favorite pot that nobody asked <laughs> is the trending tropicals. Pots, oh my goodness, I'm so tired of them. But yeah, all these urban jungle pots I think are really cute. I like the terracotta colors. I feel like you can never really go wrong with those. And the ones with the little feet 
are super cute too. The little ones are usually only $12.98 too, so. And I found the prettiest pot ever. Look at this thing. It's for 15 euros, which is already out of my league, you know. But it already comes with a saucer. And look at this beautiful pattern. I love these shapes. And oh my gosh, something like fern or peace lily would look fabulous. And it has a drainage hole. Are you flipping kidding me? This is like perfect. Look at this. And there are a couple sizes. Oh yeah, love that one for sure. So beautiful. Number six on the list. Hi, this is my boyfriend. He's in a lot of my videos. So if you come over to my channel, you'll see him. Um, and we just started our own channel too. Shameless plug. <laughs> but we are now looking for the spikiest cactus. So we have to go inside where there's copyright music. So I'm going to turn you guys around and we're gonna look for the scariest cactus we can find. Cacti. Okay guys, so I'm actually torn between two different cacti, which should be the spikiest cactus. I'll show you both. I hope it's not cheating, but guys, look at those. This is my choice number one, golden barrel cactus with insanely sharp spikes. I mean, are you flipping kidding me? I was thinking about this one or what about that one? I mean, look at those. Well, I mean, I think this one wins. This is Cactus Zuilen for 140 euros, but guys, look at this thing. I think this definitely have the hugest spikes. Awesome find. I think this gray one wins. Number seven, I don't have enough fingers to do seven, <laughs> is the fluffiest leaf. So I don't really, I don't really know. The fluffiest. This one's like kind of like billowy. Does that count as fluffy? This is a Diefenbachia. I don't know what type of Diefenbachia. I wouldn't call it fluffy. These aren't leaves, they're petals. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think that that's, those are leaves, but they're fluffy. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> These are kind of fluffy. This Peperomia scandens. This one's slightly variegated. I don't know if I would call it fluffy, but they're kind of like soft. And yeah, the, the Hoya is like felted. So they're like soft. But I don't know about fluffy. It's cute little Peperomias. Um, maybe one of these could be considered fluffy. Like this begonia is kind of like soft and billowy. Fluffy. Oh yeah, that is kind of fluffy. I would call that fluffy. This is the, it literally says fluffy on it. Fluffy ruffle fern. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you go. See, this is why I keep you around. <laughs> this purple waffle is kind of fluffy too. But yeah, that, that definitely has to win. It literally is called... Fluffy. Oh, that's a pretty Hoya. I didn't see that one. This is kind of fluffy too, the Tritoscantia. Mm. But yeah, I think the fern, the fern literally is called Fluffy Ruffle, so. The fluffiest plant. Maybe it doesn't look like the fluffiest leaf ever, but the feel of it. Look at it. This is a Calatea, and I actually don't remember the exact variety. But if you will look close enough, it feels like real velvet. It's so beautiful and so fuzzy. Oh my gosh. The little, little fuzzies are so, so small. You almost cannot see them. But the texture, oh my gosh. I cannot stop touching it. If I would buy this plant, I would pet it non-stop. Oh my gosh, it's even blooming. What? This is the first time I see Calatias bloom. I mean, this kind of Calatias. Wow. 
such a nice find for 22 euros oh my gosh yes definitely the fluffiest leaf oh my gosh you gotta touch the scalatias you just gotta touch them number eight on the list for our little scavenger hunt is the prettiest bloom and we know i'm not gonna pick the bromeliad so what else is blooming i mean orchids are always stunning i don't know if i can get this one down the light is better this way I definitely love orchids. I have a few myself. I haven't been successful in getting them to bloom for me a second time, but hopefully one day they will bloom. They're growing more leaves, but they're not blooming. So I would say that this is probably my favorite in here because my only other options would be these peace lily blooms which are not cute at all. And then there's lots more orchids over here, but I like the white ones because they look real. The other ones kind of look fake to me because they put like food coloring or like dye in there. And these are pretty though. Um, and then there's anthuriums, which are kind of uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> That's, I have a few. So they're cute, I like their foliage. Um, definitely not into that, so. There really isn't anything else blooming aside from the cacti inside that have fake flowers glued on to them. I definitely already found the prettiest glue ever. Look at this thing. So this is a Pedillum orchid and they are so uncommon to find in here in Vilnius. And I actually already own the same one, but this is such a beautiful plant. T look at this thing. Look at those colors, shapes, so unique. Wow, this one's actually 21 euro, which is pricey, but beautiful. Once again, I cannot make my mind up. Look at these blooms. I love how teeny tiny and small they are. I actually own the very same orchid and just the quantity of them and so tiny fragile looking blooms look so good look at it so not sure should i choose this one or puffy pedulum bloom because damn okay so number nine i still i keep putting my fingers up like i'm gonna count <laughs> i don't have enough number nine <laughs> is what plant I would buy for my BFF. So I don't have anybody specific in mind, but a lot of my friends are Hoya lovers like me, and this Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess is absolutely stunning. If I didn't have one, I would probably buy it for myself, but <laughs> if I had a friend nearby that I could buy this for, I absolutely would. This is a really stunning specimen for 19.98. So definitely, a really exciting find. I remember when I first found mine at like a Home Depot years ago. So super cute. I might be biased though because I love Hoya. Okay, this is the plant I would buy for my best friend. This looks so cool. Isn't so isn't expensive. I've never seen anything like this before. And look, they're so cute. It looks like they belong outside for sure. And really reminds me of spring. So cute. So definitely would buy this one for my best friend, which I would call my sister because she loves, you know, to be in the fields, to be outside. So I think that would remind her of spring or summer. Such a cool looking plant. Wow. Number 10, the last thing on the list is a planty tool or gadget from the store that I would recommend. And usually my favorite little gadgets from big box stores are water meters. So I can try and look for one, but I do know that over here they have these plastic trays and that is also one of my favorite things to get for my house plants. The fan is on over here. So these plastic trays are really great for Hanging plants, I prefer the deeper ones, but any plants you don't have a saucer for or any plants that are in clay pots that might still leak out onto like wood surfaces, these make really great little protector. I call them plasticky thingies. I don't know why, that's just 
what I do, but usually I recommend a water meter to people. I don't know if they have any over here. Boom, water meter. So this is a moisture, light, and pH meter. I usually just use it for water, especially in bigger plants where it's hard to get deep down into the soil to feel if it's moist or not. And the pot is always kind of heavy because it's a bigger plant, so that's not always necessarily the best way to gauge when it needs water. So I got this when I first bought my first floor plant, like a big Monstera Deliciosa. This helped me know when to water it. I don't need it anymore, but this is a really great tool for new plant parents who are worried that they might over or under water their plants. So. Okay, and last thing on my list is to find a gadget that I would buy or recommend. And actually, I am really actually i am really into these bird looking watering things i am not sure how i should even call them but they look actually handy i would like to try them on my on my big house plants and see how they work i actually never ever tried them so that's why i would want to give it a go it looks fun and cute and so much cuter just than just the simple bulbs like this so definitely that is the tool that i would try to use and see and see if i would recommend it to be honest that's it that's all 10 things on the list that is it for my portion of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it definitely go check out my channel she should have it linked below or somewhere up here he's always going to be doing this in the background of my videos wandering around <laughs> And like I said, we have a channel together as well. Go check out my channel, Jacqueline's Jungle, and say hi, let me know that Svetlana sent you, and there's gonna be another collab on my channel, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I guess I don't have to do my usual outro. This is weird filming for somebody else's channel. So I get to just say bye, and I hope that I see you guys soon over on my channel. Bye, say bye. <laughs> All right, guys, and this is where our quest ends. I hope you had fun to see the differences between my choices and Jacqueline's choices. I think both of us had such an interesting varieties and at the same time found pretty cool looking plants and pots and tools and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments, would you... Uh, <laughs> Let me know in the comments, would you like something like that to see again on my channel? Because I would gladly let you... Anyway, let me know if you would like to see anything similar to that. Because I had so much fun. I'm pretty sure Jacqueline had even more fun maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but I did have so much fun. Let's chat in the comments about this collab. Please go ahead and watch our collab video on her channel as well because this one is also pretty fun and let's just all together spread the happiness, spread the love, spread the houseplant experience and just all be beautiful, happy people together. Right? <laughs> thank you so much for watching, thank you so much Jacqueline for collabing with me and hopefully I will see you all in my next one.